in this video I'm going to show you how to manage headphones in Pro Tools with a simple audio interface. So I'll be using the PreSonus Audio Box 1 for the demonstration. So when we've plugged our mic into our interface and the mic level's been turned up, as soon as we record, enable or input monitor the track in Pro Tools, then the output of the track in Pro Tools will be sent back to the interface and our headphones. So this return signal has a small delay called latency which arises from the round trip and is affected by the buffer setting in the Pro Tools playback engine. When the buffer is set very low, this can be okay, but when the delay is too large, it gets very distracting for performance and it does actually drive you crazy. So to get around this problem, interfaces often have a control that allows the input signal to be passed to the headphones without having to do a round trip through Pro Tools. So this is often called the zero latency or direct monitoring control. You can see on the audio box here, it has a switch labeled direct. When you press that switch, it sends the mic input to the headphones in a 50-50 mix with the output from Pro Tools. So it's going directly to your headphones without that trip through Pro Tools and then back again. So that gets rid of any latency uh, and gives you an immediate signal. So it's great from the point of view that we don't have any latency in our headphones now and we're not gonna hear any kind of delay, but there is actually a problem with this. The problem arises because we not only now have the zero latency direct signal in our headphones, but we still have the return from the record enabled track in Pro Tools coming back into our headphones at the same time. That's because there's a 50-50 mix between the direct output of the mic and what's coming back from Pro Tools. So the result is an ugly doubling effect. It sounds a bit like a slap back or a flanging effect, depending on how much latency is involved from the buffer setting. The good news is that there's a solution. In the Options menu of Pro Tools, there's a selectable option called Low Latency Monitoring. So when we check this, Pro Tools mutes the output from the record-enabled track and just allows our direct monitor path on our interface to do the job of giving us back our mic into the headphones. That way, we'll get rid of the doubling effect and there'll be no audible delay or latency from our mic in our headphones. We'll just have the live mic from our interface mixed in 50% with the tracks that are just playing back out of Pro Tools. In this situation, to get a balance between our live mic and Pro Tools playback, we just need to use the Pro Tools mixer to make the playback tracks come into our headphones at the right mix alongside our live mic. On some interfaces that have more inputs and features, there's often a mix control instead of a direct button. This mix control allows us to mix between the output of Pro Tools and our live mic by adjusting the control on the front of the interface. 